All right, boys, welcome back. Hoping you guys are having a fabulous day here today. Um, so I have no idea what happened recently. I think there's a lot of new players in the game, or just we have the same questions every time. It's like a joke now. Um, every comment I've recently gotten was A, is this a good banner? A, what units are good? A, is Melee good? Should I summon? A, is when is Melee released on Global? When he's releasing? He's not on my game. Where is he? I've been getting these comments like constantly. So today, to basically answer one of those questions, I'm not answering when he's releasing. I've said that every video. Okay, and I still get those comments. He releases in five days, all right? Four days. He releases on Tuesday. Upcoming Monday to Tuesday, around one of those two days, your time zone might affect it, right? So that's when he releases. There's that. Now, should you summon? Today, we'll talk about it. The good and the bad with the banner. What mainly this kind of has. What might approach around it, which you might not care for. Mainly, the banner's good. So, easy answer. It's good. Let's talk about it here today. If you're new to the channel, like and subscribe. Helps out a ton. Let's jump into it. With that being said, uh, let's start it off. Already, I know I'm going to get like people trolling or joking around by commenting, hey, when is he released? That happened. I literally said I got this comment 100 times, and I made that video, right? And I got like 50 additional comments, either trolling or they're serious. I can't tell. But with it, the banner itself, okay? So the, there's, there's good with this unit. There's bad with this unit. First thing, the good, the banner. The banner is immaculate. It's literally like... The greatest thing ever for collectors for players that need this G like gp points that need some of these units for example and again i mention this every time this is not a bad unit for collection it's gp points it's fine this is a good unit this is okay it's a good unit i keep getting people saying that it's, it's terrible Zelda's is not terrible by any means okay it's a good unit it works in demon team that's all it is this is very very good this is very very good and dupes are great okay so pulling a fray or dupe is really good this is also pretty good i don't know in pvp um per se if she's fallen off um exactly but still she's really good right i'm um, gonna get collection whatever this is really good and collection's fine this one is still again really really good for the deer and everything this is again very very good this is like more niche but i think she's pretty good plus again collection this is very good for dungeon this is more like pvp ish um she's fun to use actually and i still use her in some of my teams so i like the unit a lot Magelda, bird obviously again just random content she works in a lot of like i think she's bird mainly right but there's other areas you could maybe use her this pvp for attack disable this more collection very very like old and outdated in a way but still not terrible it's just collection all right this good for dupes good for some teams this i would say collection this uh very good for some content maybe like the the death bosses right so belmoth yeah this um you got me there he's weird okay he works in like one thing i got someone like defending demon Millie so hard like he commented a whole paragraph defending him I don't care it was like it was like a whole thing it's like he works in one piece of content and that's it and now you're getting it for free so pulling him is stupid but the rest of these ones all are really good trade is 10 out of 10 this 10 out of 10 this is i'd still say a 10 out of 10 this people also want to say this is bad merlin is still good okay she works on so many teams and her debuffs actually come in clutch a lot of the time yes they can be cleansed stop using that as an excuse she's still good again dn 10 out of 10 Mainly, the banner is just immaculate. So just screw Melly. Summoning on the banner itself is immaculate, okay? Now, with Melly, oh, damn, all right? So there's two things that I want to talk about because people want to always, like, bring something up. Yes, I know that Escanor released. And yes, I know that Escanor is by far... Okay, this, is, this might be controversial. And he's not on Global. He's not on GP, never mind. But on Global, he's there, right? But he is, in my opinion, the better unit, okay? Yes, I might, I might have triggered people with that. I, per I, I personally think that he's really good. I think that Melly's also really good. Melly just has a little bit of a few drawbacks in a way, but I still think that if you team up Melly and Escort, that's a god tier team. But saying that Melly is unequivocally better than Escort, I don't know. First thing, uh, Escort does have an, a better ult. Okay, yes, I talked about that earlier where I said Melly's ult is annoying for like the, the wailedness it has. But yes, yeah. Literally, Escanor's way, uh, ult is a passive. It's way better. It is better, right? Getting dupes on that is nuts. Now, again, that doesn't mean anything. I'm not saying in any capacity that Melly sucks. I'm just saying that people are trying to say that Escanor is unequivocally better. I am not summoning from Meliodas. The whole point of my argument here is to say, yes, Escanor is better, but that doesn't discredit Melly. Like, you're saying, oh, you know, it's like comparing two characters for no reason. Like, literally, both can shine in two different things, and both are really damn good, and missing one of them is stupid, so... I would just say go for both, okay? People are trying to use the thing like, oh, Melly's not the greatest. I can go and build up my Escanor. If you feel that way, you can go and do it. The thing is, a 1-6 Melly in PvE content is actually very helpful. I think that he personally would be a pretty good dog unit, kind of. I want to see how that goes, so before I kind of set that in stone, I'll see. But overall, he is a good unit, okay? He is an outstanding unit. Just don't compare him to Escanor and be like, oh, Escanor can do this that he can't. That's why he's useless. No, by no means that's true. Melly is good, and he is very good. The 1-6 that I've used so far is actually immaculate. Um, the 2-6, rather, but still. 
one six would be good too one six literally would be good with two six you're not really getting that much of a jump um basically the two six is just 40 percent uh 550 80 and 60 right that's where it is so not too much of a jump but still 70 percent of damage suppression 60 percent of this the ult is still good so one six ult is good his passive is nuts it works with so many things and it's not um like restricted right people are also saying like oh he's restricted to the demons because of that one thing that gives the uh less damage to demons that doesn't mean he's restricted yes it means he works better a little bit better because of that with demons it's a little bit more of use of his passive but that doesn't mean anything okay his team could be so good that it nullifies the entire 20 percent that is not even useful right so there's so many things that have like literally happened with this unit that people want to push that he sucks he doesn't suck okay he is very freaking good he is now, if you try to compare to Escanor, yes, Escanor has a few things that are in his favor that are really solid too. They're both their own unit. They're both good. And this banner is so good that just jumping into the banner and getting melee on the side is great. Or again, diving just for melee, getting things on the side is also great. It doesn't matter. You win in both scenarios. So overall, great unit. Definitely a great unit, okay? Also, I did talk about when he was like, you know, free to play friendly status. He is good at 1-6. He is. Yes, at 6-6, six, six, you get that 40% where he lasts longer and a few extra turns. Yes, you get a few other jumps, but if you kill before that, should be fine. Should be fine, right? So again, his 6-6 six, six ultimate is not comparison to Escanor. I know I originally made a video saying like something a little bit off of that, but Escanor has a passive ultimate. It's a passive. You'll most likely get into that passive more times than you reach, a six, like reach an ultimate itself. So that stands, right? Again, the banner is great. You should not skip this by any means. There's really nothing to look forward to next other than Ragnarok which you'll have time to save for accordingly, okay? That happens at the end of January. So you'll go through all of January just getting one banner. Um, maybe a um, maybe a step up? No, you can't get a step up. Never mind. You can't get a step up because it's not enough time. Uh, so just just one banner on Ragnarok. That's all you get in January. So you're fine. Even saving for something next is not really too useful. Um, I don't think they're going to release a Demonic Beast, hopefully. So you should be fine. We didn't even get dog uh, relics. We literally got no dog relics. So I don't expect them to release something new. But again, the good and the bad with the banner. Everything mainly leads on the side of good. The bad thing is if you want to go and just compare to Escanor and keep saying like I can get a dupe over getting melee. If you want to do that, that's your thing. Go and have fun with it. I would definitely say that getting melee just at a 1-6 or a 2-6 is fine. If you want to go low on it, go low on it. All right. I get it that yes, Escanor has the better ult. That is true. But I still think that you should get melee. Okay. So with everything that stands, basically... Good unit, good banner. You should summon. You should not skip this. This is a chance to pick up a lot of good units, and it's definitely very good for your account, genuinely speaking. And again, off of this new update, the new GP system, every GP point will matter, and it'll get more and more... Like, the more GP you have, the better it'll become for your account, right? So again, that's like the basic information, but pulling some of these units or dupes for these units that are very rare to pull in the future, they'll definitely catch up to you and help you. So I would recommend, again, dive in, have fun. If you're trying to say, should I go for Escort or should I go for that? It's whatever team you want to build. If you think that really missing melee is fine, which missing, always missing a dark unit is the dumbest thing you could ever do, you do you, okay? These units rarely return. Yes, I get it. Trader Meliodas returned twice now, and then once with Liz. I get that, but he doesn't return often, and people still are trying to get him. Missing out on a dark unit is stupid. I would not skip. I would advise to go in forward, just jump in the banner and have a lot of fun. But again, if you draw the comparison to Escort, that's on you. Can't really do that. Both units are their own. They work on their own, and they just are really good. So that's where I stand. That's the entire uh, Should You Summon. Overall, everything points that yes, go and do it. This video wasn't even needed for most of you. You should just know right now in your heart, like, damn, Melly is sick. He might not have a good outfit, but everything else is sick, right? So that's where it currently stands. I'm sorry for the outfit slander. It still stands. With that being said, I'll catch you in the next one. Have a stay safe. That's been for me. Peace out and enjoy. Um, let me know if you're summoning down below. And yeah, that's really been it. Thank you again.